Let's get a closer look at the exhibit itself and why all those people want to see it. Junior Gorg from Fraggle Rock usually opens the show. He's become kind of our signature piece. From the front, he's a full and lovable character. But as you walk around behind him, you see that you can actually look inside him and see how he works and what he's made of. That mannequin inside Junior is a model of Rob Mills, the performer who controls the Gorg's body. Much of Junior Gorg's head is operated via radio control by a second performer, Richard Hunt, who stays outside the Gorg. Junior is joined here by his other friends from Fraggle Rock. The five main Fraggles, Gobo, Wembley, Red, Boober, and Moki, are shown here. And here we see the Doozer environment. Buttons on each side of the case can be pushed to activate the different Doozer activities. This area, like the others that follow, is accompanied by a short videotape. The Dark Crystal. Designed by the British illustrator Brian Froud, the Dark Crystal contained no human actors at all. Here we see Jen and Kira, the film's hero and heroine. Most of the other Dark Crystal characters are seen in full-scale tableaus or scenes from the film. There's the gentle and wise mystic working on a sand painting. And here we see the Skeksis tableau showing a scene from the castle banquet. Needless to say, these guys aren't too friendly. Oh, and there are the simple and fun-loving pod people. This area also features models of the sets, cases of their props or artifacts, and a videotape segment. There, Frank. 